Is that Albedo? Why is he leading? Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Uh, so we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh? Upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah! He wasn't looking his usual self! Upset? Uh-oh. I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? I wonder if Timaeus' research topic is... is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. Surely not! It's not that boring! Is it? <laughs> nah! Anyway, I wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus! A favor? Uh, well, sure, how can I help? Well, I found a bunch of super duper sweet sincerities in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon needs them all, then they'll all be gone! So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet! Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs! Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Uh... Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon, I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <sighs> okay. So how about you, Sucrose? Any idea? I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Oh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the food or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Then let's go to Dragonspine! Find him! Come on! There's no time to lose! joining us too. Oh, great! Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more the merrier. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Avengers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is joined too. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurers Guild is holding winter trading on Dragonspine. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve, but it's dangerous to go alone. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. Is the Adventurer's Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. I know, Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aw, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, so I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Aw, really? Thank you. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Hey 
schedule. We're here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, too? Build a snowman? Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and Captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa. Eula just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman! It'll be a ton of fun! Yep, yep! Count Paimon in too! Paimon wants to build a snowman! <sighs> Angie, Eula, are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay, I understand. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Yeah, let's do it! Wow, those two are fast. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Um, well... <clears throat> Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me, and he doesn't know what the Lord's name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right! That's why he calls you Auntie Eula! True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? <laughs> you shan't be getting off lightly for that. The truth is... I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh no! Paimon's starting to feel sorry for you, uh. You sound confident. <laughs> Alright then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings! We have a slight problem here. We've done a headcount, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet! Thank goodness you are here! Oh, hello! My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? Okay, I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Eula? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon noticed Eula smiled just now. It must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! Oh, now Paimon gets it! This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place! Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and, uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to!
strange. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Uh, could they be in danger? Hurry, let's go check it out! brings you to Dragonspine. Oh, so it was Albedo all along! All along? Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people! The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? We actually came to look for you, but then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Kamea's stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon's Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high-quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver-colored particles, but they lack luster which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. A paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paimon wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me. For the traveler! Paimon wants the traveler to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It'd sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint time on. Not a bad idea. Sounds great! Oh, she'll be fine. 